dear students of class 11 and 12 especially for the class 11 today's class is on rules to follow in expressing compare or contrast writing this is Muhammad Ibrahim Khalil, student professor of English, Kumila Victoria Government College. The students, today I'll advise you some rules and regulation writing a compare, comparison and contrast paragraph. Let us come to the main discussion. Compare and contrast paragraph. At first, what is comparison and contrast? Comparison shows similarities between persons, places, things, ideas, or situations. Contrast points out the differences between persons, places, things, ideas or situations. Here, comparison is concerned with similarities and con contrast is with differences. Always keep in your mind while you are writing this sort of Contrast and Comparison Paragraph Essay or Composition Okay, let us come to the next point Two basic methods for organizing comparison or contrast paragraphs Number one, if you let A and B stand for two things or subjects being compared then you can use the block method in which what is black block method here it is defined in which you tell all about a then tell all about b thus you discuss a in a block and b in in another block or next block <laughs> number two if you let a and B stand for the two things or subjects being compared, then you compare them point by point. That is, every time you say something about you, about A, uh, you also say something about B right in the same sentence or in the sentence immediately following. The topic sentence. Always remember about the topic sentence in any sort of writing, especially writing any paragraph. Your topic sentence should identify both both items or both subjects to be compared or contrasted and tell the reader exactly what you are going to say about these items or attitudes for example poor there is very weak example our pup means puppy Tuffy is different from our cat Hector but better example or good example is the difference in temperament between our pup Tuffy and our cat Hector is a constant source of amusement. Next slide, the body. Once you have decided on a good topic sentence, list all the points of comparison or contrast that you can think of. Next, Review the list and eliminate any points which are irrelevant or unimportant. Now, 
organize your details in a logical sequence logical order and begin your rough draft the conclusion the most effective conclusion for a comparison or contrast paragraph is usually a final sentence which reinforces the controlling idea for example if you could see Tuffy and Hector together you could scarcely help laughing at the contrast between these two household playmates now come to the point of a good example of the block method students who have Mr. Jones and Mr. Smith are immediately aware of the difference in the lecturing manner of each teacher. Mr. Jones has a pleasant voice which helps hold the interest of the students. He pronounces clearly in a rhythmic pattern emphasizing key words or important words. His moderate tone and inflected words make his lectures interesting. Mr. Jones also adds humor to his subject and he welcomes questions from students who don't understand the material or subject matter. He takes his time and explains slowly or reasonably. He tries to make sure that his students understand the concept before he moves on to something new. And he is very enthusiastic, very interesting in teaching about his subject. Mr. Smith, on the other hand, has a different tone pronunciation, expression and attitude from Mr. Jones. He has a booming voice, there is very loud voice which commands rather than teaches and sometimes it is hard to understand because he runs his words together. His lectures are not as interesting as those of Mr. Jones either because Mr. Smith speaks in a boring monotone. He also hates to be interrupted. That is he doesn't like to uh, be questioned by the students in between the lectures feeling that he must cover everything. His, Mr. C. Smith's intention is to cover the cover all the points of his subject matter. Mr. Smith teaches every class in a serious, determined mood. Thus, as the above points illustrates or describes in a very map-making map manner, or figurative manner, the lectures of Mr. Jones and Mr. Smith are quite different. A good example of the point by point method. Students who have Mr. Smith and Mr. Jones are immediately aware of the difference in the lecturing manner of each teacher. Mr. Jones has a pleasant voice which helps hold the interest of the students. Mr. Smith, however, has a booming voice, that is very loud voice, which commands rather than teaches. Mr. Jones pronounces clearly in a rhythmic pattern, emphasizing cures. On the other hand, Mr. Smith mumbles 
stumbles or stammers running his words together the moderate tone and inflected words of mr jones make his lectures more interesting than those of mr smith who speaks in a boring monotone sorry mr jones also adds humor to the subject whereas mr smith is always serious about each lesson mr jones welcomes questions from students who don't understand the material as compared to mr smith who hates to be interrupted mr jones takes his time to explain slowly where is mr smith rushes through each lesson mr jones is very enthusiastic about his subject he tries to make sure everyone understands a concept before he moves on to something new mr smith however is always in a determined mood he feels that he must cover everything each teacher has a different voice tone pronunciation expression and attitude and as a result their lectures are quite different from each other the student with this here ends my class one thing remember in the second assignment uh, your title is second assignment that is in english second paper or english your title is writing uh, an essay on online campus class contrast and compare between uh, campus uh, on campus class and on online class that is traditional class and online class and in this regard you will at first uh, uh, gather or collect uh, different types of information from uh, various sources especially from internet books personal experience then uh uh you can follow any of the type block type or point by point type in writing your essay thank you very